Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So it's been a while. I posted my last video probably close to two weeks ago. And to be honest, the videos that um, I had on my channel in May were all pre-filmed. Uh, so I have not filmed in well over a month. How are you guys? <laughs> I have to say I really missed filming and uh, I missed um, interacting with you. And you know, after you take a break from filming, it's almost like uh, starting from scratch. You feel you feel awkward when <laughs> talking to a camera. So if this video is a little bit scratchy, forgive me. Um, so I know I mentioned at the beginning of May in my one year anniversary video that I was considering my closing my channel down. And when I say closing, I don't mean I'm really going to delete all the videos and close it. I just meant not posting new content. Um, I still have not really decided to be honest. I decided that I'm going to film a few videos for now, post them, definitely not as often as I used to, and kind of take a day at a time and see how I feel about things. Um, I don't know. I, I have not made up my mind yet. So we will see what happens in the future. But for now, I am filming a few new videos. And since... Um, my last videos on my channel were videos on my full fragrance collection. Uh, I don't think this will be a surprise to anyone that the next video is a declutter. Because when I had a chance, you know, to take out all of my fragrances and look at all of them, uh, you know, I realized that, you know, my tastes have changed. There's some I haven't used before. There are some that I changed my mind on. Uh, there's some that may be similar to others that I have that I prefer, etc. So I really did a pretty huge declutter. I think I have decluttered over 20 fragrances, which I'm going to tell you about here. And, you know, I've done some um, disclaimers in my declutter videos before. I'm not going to repeat them again. All I'm going to say, you know, there are two types of people. One type that declutters and another that doesn't. I fall in a category of people who declutter. And it's not just fragrances. I declutter everything in my life. If I don't use things, if I don't love things anymore, I don't need them. I let them go. I don't like clutter in my life. I'm not a minimalist by any means, but I also don't like clutter. So you will see declutters on my channel from time to time. That's just what I do. I declutter. So like I said, I have over 20 bottles in my collection that I have decluttered. And to be honest, <laughs> all but one have left already and found good homes. So I don't have actual bottles to show you. But of course, I'll be putting up pictures and explaining to you why they left. But let's start with the one that I still have. And if any of you are interested in it, definitely let me know. It is looking for a new home. This is Shea and Blue, what is it called? Black, yes. <laughs> this is Shea and Blue Black Tulip. And uh, you know, I like this scent. This is uh, mostly white chocolate with plums. I've mentioned before, I, I can't stand the bottle. And I know to some of you, this might seem like a superficial reason for decluttering something. Yeah, maybe, but I just don't like it. This look like some kind of medicine in this bottle. I don't like it. And for that reason, um, I'm going to declutter it. I just don't reach for this scent all that much. So this one, looking for a new home. Next one that left my collection already is from the house of Mansera, and this is Musky Garden. And I was so sad to let that one go because the bottle is so, so gorgeous. I just love that bottle. And I liked the scent as well. You know, with most of the fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, really, I liked all of them, pretty much all of them. Many of them I loved, but again, I have a large collection, things that don't get used for whatever reason. Or if I change my mind about things, they go. Doesn't mean they're bad sense. 
just means I don't need them in my collection anymore. So musky garden, it is kind of fruity floral. It's very, um, you know, it's fermented fruits and florals, I would say with some musk. Really nice scent, but out of all of my Mancera scents, this was the one that I reached for the least. And so it had to go. Next fragrance I'm gonna share with you is a fragrance that I've actually never talked about. It was supposed to be in my next haul that's gonna come out uh, after this video, but it never made it to that haul because unfortunately it didn't work for me and I decluttered it pretty quickly after acquiring it. And again, I was kind of a, a little bit sad about this declutter because this fragrance was a bit nostalgic for me. This was the very first niche fragrance that I smelled back in the day. And at that time, it seemed completely unreachable to me. It seemed way too expensive. I never dreamed of having it. Then the fragrance got discontinued and, you know, I couldn't find it. And then at some point recently, I had a chance to get it. And I thought, wow, I really liked it back then. I need to get it. And unfortunately, it looks like my tastes have changed since, you know, many years ago when I tried it first. Now, the fragrance that I'm talking about is from Killian and it is called Water Calligraphy. When I tried this fragrance initially, I remember it being a really nice, fresh, citrusy scent. That's kind of what stayed in my memory from trying it back in the day. Unfortunately, when I got it, it turned out to be quite different. It was not that fresh. It was not that citrusy. There is a note of water lily in it. And that's the note that I got the most. It was lily all the way. It was very, very floral, um, not a lot of freshness. And unfortunately, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. And, you know, if I don't love it, I didn't want to keep it in my collection. So unfortunately, it left very quickly. Next fragrance that I decluttered will not come as a surprise because it was a failed blind buy that I mentioned previously. This is from Juliet Mad Terrasse et Saint Germain. Again, based on the notes, I expected to see a fresh, zesty, bright type of scent but it turned out to be really rose with patchouli. A plus patchouli was quite masculine type of patchouli. So it just wasn't what I expected. Wasn't a bad scent, but not what I was looking for. So it did leave. I also decluttered my mini set of Dior fragrances that I showed you just because, you know, I got a chance to try all of them, figure out what I liked, what I didn't like. You know, I am not a huge fan of mini bottles, especially when they're uh, splash bottles, which these were. So I just didn't feel the need to keep them. They found a better home where somebody else can get a chance to sample them, try them out, figure out what they like. So for that reason, I decluttered that Dior set. Next, I'm going to mention two fragrances that uh, I decluttered and I decluttered them for the same reason, because they had a very similar quality to them that I thought I was okay with, but then when I wore them, it kind of started bothering me. Now, the two fragrances I am talking about is Lubin Upper Ten and Memoirs of a Trespasser from Imaginary Authors. Now, both of them, although overall the fragrances are different, but both of them had this burning candle quality. And like I said, I thought it was okay with it. I thought it didn't bother me. Like all the notes in both fragrances I really enjoyed. But when I wore them on my skin for an extended period of time, by the end of the day, I was tired of them. I was really getting tired. And for that reason, I wasn't reaching for them that much. And so I let go both of these. Another fragrance that left my collection is Palo Santo from Carne Barcelona. This is a really strong, woody vanilla that has kind of a milky quality. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I loved it. And I never wore it. Every time I thought about reaching for a vanilla, 
I would choose something else over this one. Haven't used it all winter long, and obviously this is definitely a cold weather scent, so if I haven't reached for it in the winter, I'm definitely never gonna wear it in the warm weather, so it had to go. Next, I decluttered my both all her main fragrances, Amber Oud Rouge and Amber Oud Gold. Yes, my husband <laughs> wasn't very happy with me that I decluttered Rouge, but the reason I did it is I just don't like clones. I don't like clone houses. I, you know, it's okay. Whoever loves them, it's wonderful. I just don't. I, I want to have the real thing if I can. If I can't, then I can't. But I just don't like clone houses. So, um, you know, the gold smell like Herbapura from Xerjov. The rouge smells like um, Baccarat Rouge. So, yeah, uh, definitely I am thinking of getting the originals. Well, Herbapura for sure. A Baccarat Rouge. My husband loves it. So, yeah, we might uh, get it for him because he really enjoys the scent. But I just wanted to have the originals. I didn't want to have the clones. That's why they left. Next, I let go of two kind of um, affordable scents, not because they were bad, just because I never reached for them. One is Latafa Ragba. This is kind of your oud vanilla combination. Really lovely. Great introductory oud. Again, I never reached for it. And the other one is Choco Mask. This is your um, sweet pastry, sort of in the same vein as Lyra from Xerjov, obviously you know, on a different quality level, but lovely, sweet bakery scent. Never reached for it, so both of these left. Next, I have a fragrance that I really, really, really wanted to love, and I gave it a lot of chances. I really tried, but at the end of the day, I had to be honest, and I just couldn't love this fragrance. Maybe you figured out what I'm talking about. It is Granada from Mamo. It's a very floral scent. It has orange blossom, it has jasmine, and really, to my nose, jasmine was very, very strong on this scent. It was a nice type of jasmine. It was clean, it wasn't indolic, but still, it was so, so strong. It just, I knew that I would not reach for the scent hardly ever, and I couldn't keep it just because I love the house or because the bottle is gorgeous. No, these are not reasons to keep it. So I really tried to fall in love with it, but I just didn't. And so this one left. Another gorgeous fragrance that I let go is Iris de Syracuse from Boucheron. This was a lovely Iris scent. You know, not too powdery, not too sweet. It, I think it had pear in it. It was lovely, but you know, um, I'm picky with iris. In general, florals, I don't reach for that often, except for rose, of course. And I have a couple of other iris scents that I like just a little bit more. And when I'm in the mood to wear iris, I typically reach for those scents. This is um, Iris Dior from Bulgari and Iris Drage from Maison Lancôme. I really prefer those iris scents to Boucheron, and so for that reason, that one left. Next, I decluttered a couple of fragrances from my Mugler collection. First, it was Mugler Womanity. Um, you know, I when I think when I did my collection videos, I mentioned that uh, you know most of Mugler scents I don't really wear, I don't reach for. They're just kind of there for the collection, and you know, um, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep them long term. Um, I've started with two scents, but it's possible that <laughs> more will be decluttered in the future. I don't know, but Womanity is you know a fig and caviar. Very unique scent, uh, interesting. I never wore it, I never reached for it, even though I liked it, but I never wore it, so I decluttered it. The other one that I let go from Mugler is Innocent Rock in that tall red bottle uh, that's kind of similar to Angel, but it's 
fruity angel it has red fruits in it i think red berries and the patchouli is not as strong in it again nice scent that i never wore so that one left I also decluttered a couple of Jimmy Choo scents that I really, really like. I love the scents, but you know, again, having such a large collection, I just haven't reached for these ones. So I decluttered the original Jimmy Choo and Jimmy Choo Exotic in this bright pink bottle. Um, it's a sweet patchouli. Both are sweet patchouli scents. I think there is coffee or caramel I can't remember which one is in there and exotic also had raspberry uh, added in both really really nice scents that I haven't used so I decluttered them another scent that I let go is my last remaining <laughs> Nina Ricci Lake Stas at some point I had three of them and I let go the other two a while ago and I let go the original Lake Stas as well. I love that fragrance. It's a beautiful, jammy, sweet rose. But the reason I let that one go is because I discovered a new scent that I don't have a full bottle of yet. I just sampled it, but I really, really fell in love with it and I want to have a full bottle and it kind of reminds me of Nina Ricci Le Extas. It's sort of going in the same direction. And I knew that I eventually would get a full bottle of that one. That's why for now, I let go of Le Extas, knowing that, you know, the other one will most likely be added to my collection. And two more that I decluttered, which were my <laughs> last remaining celebrity scents. First one is... Jessica Simpson Vintage Blue, which is a really nice kind of fresh, fruity floral. I've raved about that scent and I stand by that. It's a, I think it's a gorgeous scent. I never used it, so I let it go. And the other one is Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. And I've mentioned many times that this was never a love or even barely a like for me. I kept this fragrance for a long time because, you know, it has very, very high reviews. It's a discontinued scent not that easy to find and I really kept trying it hoping to fall in love with it but again it never happened and I thought well all of these reasons are not good enough to keep it I have to let it go so this I think equals to 21 bottles that I decluttered I also wanted to mention two more that I still have and I haven't made up my mind but there are sort of on a chopping block maybe you can chime in and let me know what do you think should i keep these or should i declutter them so the first one is carolina herrera good girl i really like the scent i really enjoy it but for some reason for me this scent is associated with going out uh i don't know why but I can't wear it just on a daily basis during the day, going on a walk, going to a grocery store, whatever. And I mean, for over, what, a year and a half now, we have been sitting at home, not going anywhere. I mean, here in Canada, we're still in lockdown at the time of filming this. So I haven't gone out, gone out in forever and I haven't worn this fragrance in forever. And even though I enjoy the scent, I don't know. It's just standing there and collecting dust. Yes, eventually we will be going out again, but... Do I need to keep it? I don't know. So I'm kind of considering decluttering it. And the second one is another Mugler scent. And this one is so highly coveted. Everyone is looking for it, trying to find it. And I have it and I don't use it. And I don't know if I should keep it just because it is so highly regarded and so difficult to find. This is Alien Essence Absolute. It just stands there collecting dust. I don't use it. I like it, but I don't love it. And I have so many fragrances that I love that I just don't reach for this one. And so I don't know if I should keep it or if I should declutter it. These two, like I said, Good Girl and Alien Essence Absolute are on the chopping block, but I haven't made up my mind exactly if I will declutter them or not. So there you go. This is my latest declutter. As you can see, quite a lot of fragrances left my collection. And, um, you know, I feel really good about it. I feel like, you know, I, I really love and I really use 
99% of what I have, if not 100%. Um, and, you know, these, these fragrances found better homes with people who are going to use them. So let me know, have you decluttered anything lately? And in general, do you declutter or do you hold on to all of the fragrances? I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.